For the last four years, Camila, Sara, and Kate had been preparing for college. These three girls, like thousands of other high school seniors, began applying for college. So I applied to CSU Fresno, CSU Long Beach, UC San Diego, UC Santa Barbara, and UCLA, and I might apply to Stanford. Camila Rosales' dream school has been UCLA since the second grade. The Menachee High School student wants to study cultures and linguistics. They're the only school that's on the UC system that has the amount, like, a large range of languages to study and has, like, a studying abroad program because most of those programs are really limited to Ivy League schools. Rosales says that good grades aren't enough anymore to get you into colleges like UCLA. You have to be like a, rel a well-rounded student that has a, like various aspects to them and a lot of personality traits and characteristics. I took a lot of AP classes and I also was in a lot of like organizations like I'm the president of my pathway program, the Environmental Science Academy. I'm ASB vice president. I'm the president of Z Club, which is like a women empowerment club. Many high school students follow this formula to ensure acceptance into top universities. However, students like Kate Lazardo took a different path. Well, I haven't applied to any colleges in the States because I'm going to college in the Philippines and I'm going to a private school called CLDHEI. Since the beginning of her freshman year, Lazardo has planned to go to the Central Luzon Doctors Hospital Educational Institution. Well, you apply and you have to take a placement test. And but like about the extracurriculars, I'm not entirely positive, but by what my dad says, he makes it seem like they don't really like look at all that stuff. I think as long as like you are like graduated student, then you're good. <laughs> Lazardo still immersed herself in high school life and joined many clubs in her four years at Menachee. I'm in choir, band, ASB, CSF, uh, Pivot, Hip Hop Club, <laughs> but I'm president of CSF, choir, and Hip Hop Club. She'd like to stay here in the States, but she's following her father's wishes to study outside the country. Since my dad told me about going to college in the Philippines, I haven't really like wrapped around that idea. I didn't really like it, but over like the past two years, like a lot of stuff with family has been happening. So in a way, like I had to tell myself to accept it because it was just easier that way, especially for my dad. Since during that time, he told one of my aunts your, that I was his only hope. And so that made me feel bad, but it, in the way that made me accept from going over there. And if I didn't go over there, like I went rebelled against my dad, I'd have to pay for college myself. Like I'd have to be alone, like no help, <laughs> pretty much. Unlike Rosales and Lozardo, Summit Collegiate Charter Academy senior Sara Pineda was less involved in high school. Right now I kind of regret it because like I'm like filling out scholarships and they're always like, oh, what did you do? And I know that if I say like, Nothing. They're not going to pick me because they're like, oh, she never did anything with her life, so she's just going to not do anything in college. She planned on applying to colleges like San Marcos and UC Irvine, but her plans were changed when she found out she didn't qualify for the application fee waiver. My um, counselor was like, everybody applies for the waiver. You just pick four and then you get them for free. And then that didn't happen for me because apparently my parents made too much money. So I was just kind of lost after there. I didn't know what to do. And my mom said like, only if you apply for Fresno State, I will pay for it. So that's kind of like the biggest problem is like I wanted to go to San Marcos, but I didn't have money to pay for the application, so I just kind of deleted it. For many first-generation children, the pressure of attending college is high. I get a lot of pressure from both of my parents that like they came here because of me and like I have I can't disappoint them because they're the reason I'm the reason that they had to like suffer through that. And they're always like, oh, back there, I wish I would have been like you. Like, oh, you don't understand the opportunities that you have and like how lucky you are. Now that graduation is around the corner, these students can now reflect on whether or not the American education system has allowed them to succeed. And it feels like everything I did, it's almost like it's never going to be enough. And even like just the whole application itself, like no matter how many questions they ask, no matter how many prompts they make you answer, like, they're never going to be able to get a real whole picture of who you are as a person and as a student. College application system really disappointed me. Like they always say like, oh, the, like you can, like college application, especially for like a smart kid like you, it's going to be so easy. You're going to get so many scholarships and, and, and that doesn't happen. Three different journeys, 
filled with obstacles, but also filled with immense hope and excitement for the future that lies ahead of them after high school. I would also tell future Kate to that no matter what happens, you're going to get through it. <laughs> um, no matter like if it's problems or how tough it is over there, it should be fine since medical field is tough, <laughs> especially with the sleepless nights. So I hope your health is good. <laughs> Isabella Rosales, Fresno State Focus.